Okay, we're going to take a look at uh, Terrell again. He's got regionals he qualified for uh, in a couple of days, so we're going to turn him into Valerie Allman in a short period of time. Well, not really, but we'll see what we can do. Okay, so let's look at the startup here. You've got your wind-up. You're coming out of the wind-up. See how you drop your left arm? See how your shoulders drop? The left shoulder down? Now watch for all the almonds. See how the left shoulder or the left arm and the shoulders are kept horizontal? See? Okay. That's the first thing. That's the first thing we'd work on. That's what we talked about before. That's what you're uh, doing right here, the head hunting. Get your shoulders up, get that arm up. Let's take a look at the, uh, yeah, you see her, see her shoulder here, the left shoulder. See, it's just almost right on top of the hip. Now watch as you come out around the corner. You see how you drop that shoulder and it comes way ahead of this hip. So try to be a little more vertical. Get the shoulders level, get this left arm out. All right, let's go on to the next thing. We want to get you to the uh, your 120-foot goal here as soon as we can. Okay. I'm going to move you up a little bit because she's uh, ahead of you here. Okay, so you're both in pretty much the same position now. You're uh, getting ready to come off that left foot. Uh, let's get her back here. She's so much faster, so. Okay. Right here, we talked about uh, getting your foot underneath that knee, getting the shin down. Okay. First thing is you don't want to turn this foot anymore. This is almost... You don't want to rotate this anymore, or this knee. You want everything driving this way. So you got to pick this knee up a little bit. Like you see here, now she's starting to get the foot underneath the knee. And your foot is dragging way behind. And you're going to start over-rotating this knee and this foot here, this left, this left leg. Let's watch a couple of frames. See how you're... See how she's already off the ground and landed in the middle, and you're still pushing off. You're, uh... So you're in the air right here. Let's take a look at her in the air. Okay, right here. Now, she's turning this foot in, inward, and you're still kicking your leg outward. The knee's coming in, but this foot is way, you know, it should be below this knee. You've got it way out to the front. You're trying to get some uh, distance out to the front, but what you really need to do is land with this foot underneath this hip. And... Uh, this foot's not too bad. I thought maybe you over-rotated it more, but that's not its not too bad. You came off pretty good. But what happens after you come off is... Uh, let's take a look at the uh, the shin. Actually, it looks pretty good. I thought you were going to keep that long. You kept that... Uh, you got the shin horizontal here. That's good. See Valerie Allman here? Horizontal shin. That's good. Okay. But uh, the main thing is... You see your foot's over here, but your hip is way over here. Now, I try to pick a, a, a video that was very similar to yours. So right here, you can see where she's landing on her foot. Oh, i got to come back here. Right there. You see how she, she, how she hooks it around and comes back around? But she see how the left foot goes with her? And her hips turn together. You don't want to just come out here and, and turn that right hip and that right foot. You want to bring that left foot around with you. you. See how the motion is? Right foot down, left foot comes around. Okay? You're just kind of uh, leaving that left foot behind as the right foot comes around. Now watch when she lands. You see her hip is on top of the foot? Let's take a look at you. See what I mean by you just bringing that right foot and hooking it around? Okay? And you're kind of leaving the left behind a little bit. You want them to move together. You want those hips to turn. See, right now your hips are, are facing like the, toward the camera here, about 3 o'clock, or 9 o'clock, sorry. See, her hips are getting rotated around to the front. See her hips drive to the front, okay? Okay, next big thing right here. See the right foot? You land on the toe, which is good, but
but you got to keep turning it. You've got so much force going this way, you don't have anything really rotational. Okay, see how the right foot just kind of sits there? Now let's take a look at Valerie Altman. See the foot doesn't stop? As soon as she hits on the toe, heel turns out, keeps it moving. Okay. That allows her to get this left foot back here behind her right foot. Let's see where your left foot lands. Yeah, see it's almost a straight line. You want this left foot back a little bit so you can get your hips through. And you can do that if you land on that right foot. With this hip on top, don't try to get that right foot too far out. Try to hook it back underneath you, okay? Underneath, so you land on top of it, like right here. You see how she's doing it? Straight line from her hip to her foot. You got your hip way too far here. So if you do that, get the foot underneath you with the hip on top of it. You'll keep rotating. You won't stop the foot there. That'll allow you to get this left foot farther around behind you. Okay? Now when we get right here, that's not bad. You've got an angle here. That's good. You've got matching body angle matches your shin angle, as you can see with Valerie Rahman here. See? That's good. This discus, uh, let's see if you get that discus up to the high point. Okay, so the discus is a little high right here. Now, if you bring these shoulders up level, bring this left arm up level, that will bring the discus down. Make sense? So it'll start down here. And as you enter, you want dis the discus to come up high. Not as high as, as she's doing, but higher. You see, it's almost, it's almost horizontal right here. Okay. And right, yeah, you want the discus up uh, probably even with your shoulders. Okay, a little bit higher. Right here, that's good. You've got some good separation here. What I mean by that is as your hips face back here to, to the uh, back of the circle, 12 o'clock, your shoulders are facing three. And as you can see with Valerie Allman here, she's uh, one couple more frames right about here. Yeah, see how the shoulders face three, the hips face uh, 12 o'clock. That's good. You got the separation there. You maintain you maintain it pretty well. So we just got to make it uh, a little more fluid. As you can see, watch how fast she gets through the circle. I mean, you guys are synced up right now. So this is, you're going at uh, full speed. Watch how much faster she finishes. Okay. And that's just a matter of getting that leg, that right foot underneath you. Getting your arms, see your left arm whipping out. Not down, but straight out. Okay. I can't really slow this one down. Maybe I can. Let's see. There you go. Okay. Watch how she drives out with the left arm and the left knee together. Okay. All right, I guess that pretty much sums up the things I wanted to talk about. Main things are come out of the back with your arm up, shoulders level, get that foot underneath your hip as you turn and keep the right foot turning. And then uh, those three things are probably gonna make a huge difference for you. And you can do those in a short amount of time, okay? Left arm, shoulders level, land with that foot underneath you and keep the foot turning, okay? All right, well, hope good luck at regions and uh, Regionals, we'll see how you did. All right, thanks.